Hello everybody, it's me Pierre coming at you one more time from the Game Throne and today I'm going to teach you how to get through Sen's Fortress when you've just had enough. Usually your first playthrough, people will get here and the sudden difficulty increase, they get sick of it and almost want to give up. This guide does not teach you where the items are, it skips any and all story. This really is a last resort, you've had enough and you're thinking about quitting but you don't want to give up and you just want to get through Sen's Fortress so you can carry on with the game. First thing you're going to need, and the only thing you really need, is a shield. And I suppose the other thing is to take off any armor that you're wearing, just so that you can move that a little bit quicker. As you approach this first night, guys, shield up and just run at him and sort of press slightly towards him as you go past. Don't worry, you won't fall off the ledge. Turn left and up these stairs. Now, you definitely need a shield here because this guy can cast magic. Most of the time, his lightning will hit these uh, swinging blades, but if it doesn't, that's what a shield is for. Step on the pad, and hopefully that will kill him as you run past. If it doesn't, do be wary that he might sneak up on you here. If there is a snake man here, just stand still with your shield up until the boulder takes care of him. Run left, and there's a, a door on the left on the first landing, just before that boulder gets you, tuck in here. If that guy survives, stand in this doorway with your shield up until the boulder kills him. Run into here, then you're going to make sure the first snake is dead, then bait this guy out. If you wait long enough, he will come. Don't step on the panel. What we're going to do, as soon as he's in line, step on the panel and roll back to where we came from, dodging the arrows, and that kills him nice and easily as well. On this little stairwell, stop a good few steps from the edge. Um, even touching this boulder whilst it's stationary hurts. Wait for the boulder to run past and be clear of the doorway. Run just over halfway up the stairs, press start, quit out of the game. What that will do is reset the boulder so it doesn't come around the corner in front of you. Once the game loads back up, you're going to then complete your journey to the top of the stairs and immediately turn left. Do remember the boulder is still coming, so don't dawdle. Once you go left in here, there's another trap. You can just simply step on it and run back and wait for the spikes to uh, finish shooting. We're almost at the end now. Coming up is a part where some people get a little bit stuck. Um, this one, nice and easy. Run through all of these in one go rather than trying to dodge in between them. And this is the section where you might get a bit stuck. Shield up just in case and just push into this corner. If he's blocking you, keep pushing and rolling. Eventually you'll get through. This bit, don't wait for the snake man on the left and behind us to get his aim on you. That's what most people do. They take their time and then he starts zapping you in the back while you're also trying to dodge the death pendulums. Just run straight through there, slowing down or speeding up as necessary to uh, dodge the pendulums up this little set of stairs and instead of going up the next set of stairs drop off and there's a secret bonfire here which means that you get an easier set of retries on the boss up ahead this guide will not cover how to defeat this boss um, if you do want that guide by all means let me know in the comments down below if there's anything you think of that could be done better also put it in the comments down below and i'll pin the best comment if there is one um, in case it helps other people so once you've gone to that bonfire, you'll have to rerun this little section. Don't worry about the items, um, because if you go for the items, uh, you see how there's fire on the floor. That's where the um, giant at the top is throwing his bombs down. Head up the stairs, run out onto this catwalk, turn right, straight to the end, turn right again at the end. Now, there is a shortcut here. If you need to get back to the bottom of Sense Fortress, you'll see these two um, cages. They are lifts. So if you do need to get to the bottom of Sense Fortress again, there's a way back and forth between the two areas. I'm not going to bother with keeping this simple today. Past the shortcut lifts, right up the stairs, back out onto another catwalk. And here's another part where you might need a shield. There's a knight at the top of here, and he's trying to ping you off with a crossbow. Get close enough, you might get your sword out. Just use your shield to defend him. Sometimes you can run straight past. If not, give him the old circle, give him a tap, and then you're into the boss room. And that is you done with just simply running through Sen's Fortress. There's loads more to it. If you want a more in-detailed guide, I can certainly do one. Um, however, if I'm going to do 100% completion guide i'll probably start that from the start and that's a big task so i'll only do it if there's enough demand um again this isn't a guide on how to defeat the iron golem uh, in fact i think he kills me on this run but he's not that hard of a boss uh, especially if you've done like quilag already if you can do quilag you can do this any questions pop them in the comments down below and i think that covers it all do all the things that youtube has asked you to do I'll catch you on the flip side.
Bye.